Maury Amsterdam Show, brought to you through the facilities of the Dumont Television Network. Presented by your Dumont dealer, the man who holds the coveted Dumont Television Dealer franchise. With Maury Amsterdam, Art Carney, Dottie Dean, Freddie Blair, Leo, Blippi Blank, Jackie Waite, Tony Romano, and Johnny Guarneri as piano and his orchestra at the Silver Squad Cafe. Dumont, first with the finest in television, proudly presents the Sherbrooke Console. With 19-inch direct view life tone picture tube, oversized chassis for longer life and superb performance, both AM and FM radio, and three-speed automatic record player, America's distinguished teleset. The Hanover console in classic Heffel White design with 19-inch direct view picture tube, FM radio, and phonograph plug-in. Remember, there are 16 new and different models in both mahogany veneer and blonde hardwood made by Dumont. Dumont, the world's largest organization devoted exclusively to television and electronics. And now your Dumont dealer invites you to join Maury Amsterdam and the Happy Gang at the Silver Swan Cafe. happy to say that you're having such a wonderful time. Will you kindly hurry back to your tables and chairs because it's floor show time again. Time for us to introduce the man who's going to take you on a gay tour of our Silver Swan Cafe, your host, Maury Amsterdam. There's a guy who can talk more and say less than anybody I ever heard. You give me introductions like it was a whole big thing when a fella comes out and makes a boss in the face. <laughs> What'd he say? Wow, what? And now, ladies and gentlemen, due to absolutely no request, we have a song here. Well, this song made me. Made me miserable. Yakapak. 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 With a smash, you'll never know Yakapak. 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 Mike, I've got a face like a duck. Do 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 do. Singing Sam song. Singing Sam song. You're out of your mind. What are you doing, dancing? No, I'm playing ping pong with a left-handed armadillo. Thought I'm dancing. What do you think? They're taking a few lessons. Already, I know the backstroke and the Australian crawl. Dancing, huh? Backstroke and Australian crawl is swimming. No wonder they threw me out of the Roseland for wearing a diving helmet. <laughs> you know you're flipping. What's the matter with you anyway? How'd you happen to get interested in dancing all of a sudden? Well, I'll tell you. Here's how it happened. Two or three weeks ago, Trooper, that's my old landlady. Oh, you yeah. Whatever happened to her? I don't know. Yeah. She but... walked in the door someplace <laughs> and just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me and Trooper went down to the Friendship Club Dancing Academy. The Friendship Club? Refined dancing every night except Monday. Well, what happens on Monday night? Well, on Monday nights, everybody gets a whip. All right, no, no. <laughs> Take it easy, no. Let's dance. Okay. Oh, Trooper's a good dancer. Did you ever hear the story of the sick owl? No. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, that Trooper's well, a great dancer. No kidding. I didn't know she could dance. Oh, dance? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> she won a silver mustache cup down For her dancing, huh? No, for a mustache. <laughs> it's flecked with gray. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you had your mouth open? Yes, I do. I opened it. Well, it's quite drafty. Yeah. What's the matter with you? Still having trouble sleeping? I tell you, it's getting pretty drastic. I haven't had a wink of sleep in five nights. Well, you have acute insomnia. Thank you, but what good does that do if I can't get to sleep? <laughs> Are you kidding? Do you ever try sleeping tablets? Oh, <laughs> sleeping tablets. Oh, yourself sleeping <laughs> tablets. Gotta you try them. Got a jug of them the other day. A jug? Yeah. Where did you You know me, from? whole hog. Yeah. <laughs> I read it on a label that says, take one tablet and skip a night. And? I took the tablet. By the time I got through skipping all night, the pill wore out. <laughs> Come on, you should do something, Newton. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. You really want to get a good night's sleep? Look at me. Who does you more favors than anybody? I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> because I don't I'm know what I'm the fellow who's going to help you. <laughs> you don't know what to answer. <laughs> Listen. I can put you to sleep with hypnotism. Thank you, but I'd rather sleep alone. 
No, come on. Now, look around here. I'll show you. It's merely a, a case of mind over mattress. That's nothing to it. Now, you just look me in the eyes. You all set? Look at my eyes. What do you see? Two pink eyeballs. <laughs> no, no, no. Come on now. Now, concentrate. Yeah. Look, what do you see? Come on, Wooly Polly B. Do you feel anything? Yes, I believe I do. What do you feel? I feel ridiculous. Get no, out no, of here. No. Come on, come on, come on back here. Now watch this. La 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 bitty see. La cola bini bitty pop. La bini. What are you doing? Hypnotizing me or watering the lawn? <laughs> Must have quiet. The master is at work. <laughs> Look at the master. Concentrate. Yeah. Concentrate till yeah. you have a cramp. Now concentrate your cramp, I suppose. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. Go ahead. All right, all right, now, come on. You have a wide range. <laughs> now I have you under my spell. You are no longer a young man. Newton, you are an old man of 95 years old. I what feel, you got to say, Grandpappy? I feel 95. You do? I just read Forever Amber, and I cried and cried. Why, it's not a sad book. It is when you're my age. <laughs> I'm out of it. You did, I did. Hey, that was a top raw stunt. <laughs> that was no kidding. You, you, you have me hypnotized. Hypnotism is a cinch, boy. You get people, you get, you get them to do anything you want. Just little uh, magic words. You get anything? them under your spell. Anybody? Sure, anybody at all. Hey. Ah, uh, 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 what's the matter? What are you thinking about? Uh, ba -ba -boom. <laughs> come on, come on. Let that in. Yeah? I will take care of it for you, sir. I beg your pardon, young lady. I haven't done anything. <laughs> but I beg your pardon. Would you like to help us out in a little uh, hypnotic experiment? I'd be very happy to. Well, you might be out of your mind, too. <laughs> this is uh, Newton, our waiter. This is Miss... Uh, I don't believe I caught your name. Carter. Miss Carter. Carter. Jackie Carter, yeah. taking your old man's little liver pills like oh, crazy. Come here. <laughs> Got the craziest liver in town. Please. <laughs> Please, now... Quiet, or I will tell you the story of the sick owl. <laughs> no. Just relax yourself. Now, here's uh, merely a mind of malpoison. You do this, ee, uh -oh, and I will show you what you do. Now, you just uh, step right here, please, if you don't mind. <clears throat> you think we ought to have a little music with this, or just a cappello? A cappello. All right. You mind uh, just looking at me for a second, please? <laughs> Girl is now completely under my power. Just watch this. Kiss me. Kiss me. Fresh. You see, Newton, there's nothing to it. <laughs> Works like a charm. Yeah, 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 you try it. <clears throat> Look at my eyes. All three of them. <laughs> Concentrate. You're under my spell. Kiss me. Do you hear? Kiss me. Fresh. <laughs> see? That's what I say. French? Weirdo. That guy gets the weirdest ideas. We're walking along the street and a little dog ran by with a tin can on his tail. He says, isn't that cute? He just got married. <laughs> hey, speaking of cute things, we got to talking about favorite songs the other day. And of course, one of everybody's favorites is Sunny Side of the Street. So we took a few choruses. Blair and Dean added four dancing feet, and it goes something like this. I think you'll like it.
You're heavy. <laughs> Here's a song for which I recently, and ladies and gentlemen, it is without a doubt that I have a title song. This is a little song entitled, what did he say? What? This is a song entitled, he drank so much hair tonic that now he has to drink camphor to keep the moths out of his stomach. <laughs> I will be accompanied by, what am I playing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Play because you've been sitting here all evening with your guitar. Maury, I was waiting for the, the first eight bars to finish. Well, I just thought I'd let him go down the drain pipe with the rest <laughs> of the powder. This is Tony Romano, ladies and gentlemen. Bob Pretty. <laughs> I'm not going to go through a whole long thing and tell you all about Tony. I know that you know who he is and all about him. But this thing, I will say, you may not know that he's a songwriter. He has a tune called If You Were My Girl, recently recorded by Perry Como, Paul Revere, and a few other people. Should be Paul Revere. <laughs> Paul Revere. Come on, put your foot on here and show the people how you do it in your own inimitable style, the okay. way you wrote it. All right. In the picture, the Falcon Stabs Bulldog Drummond. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> Astronomers say it's an awful long way from here to the moon. I would go there on my honeymoon if you were my girl. Far away from the crowd, we could live on a cloud, a castle in air. It would be a storybook affair. My girl, if you'd like some ice cream from the Milky Way, I would shinny up a moonbeam, bring you a rainbow parfait, just to sailing along on the wings of a song. With you by my side, life would be a roller coaster ride. If you were my girl.
spring from the Milky Way. I would shinny up a moonbeam, bring you a rainbow parfait, just to sail on along on the wings of the sun. With you by my side, life would be a roller coaster ride. If you were my girl, a bubble bee, ba 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 ba. tell you, Tony's a boy who traveled all over the world during the war with Bob Hope entertaining the troops, and right now he's organizing another show to do the same thing, just to go all around and take care of our fellas. You know, summer is over, and well, a lot of memories, you know, the memories of days out at the beach and nights, cool evenings up in the mountains, and a couple of pretty lousy days at the racetrack. <laughs> We're going to show you what happened to us a couple of days out at the track. Right now, a few stirring words from a very stirring fella, <laughs> Don Stirring Russell. Thanks, Maury. Hey, uh, you Don Russell? Yeah, I sure am. Uh, you must be the photographer. Yeah, that's right. What do you want me to take? Say, I want you to take a picture of the new 1951 Dumont Mount Vernon console. Okay, where is it? It's right over there. Oh. That the picture you want? Yeah, that's the picture I want. Okay, it's a picture you'll get. Okay. Say, by the way, when you're shooting the picture, please get in the beautiful lines of the Mount Vernon console, won't you? And the beautiful mahogany veneer. You know, the cabinet is a real masterpiece. We oh, want to get easy. all that in. That's very easy, very easy. Now, take, right a look. take a look in here, my friends. Yeah. How's yeah, that? That's fine. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Shall I take it? Yeah, you get ready to take it. Okay, here we go now, just very easy. All right, now. Uh, wow. Just a second, just a second. A thought just occurred to me. Uh, I think it would be better if we took it with the doors open. Okay, I'll open them. No, just a minute. You you can't do that. I can't. Skippy! Uh, Skippy's the stage manager. Oh, you got help. Skippy, will you open the doors, please? Okay. Thanks for opening the doors. <laughs> uh, oh, <coughs> uh, Who's that? Skippy's assistant. Nice work. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, well, here. Now, now you see, there's the set with the doors open, see? But you can't see the doors. Now, uh, maybe i better open it up a little bit, huh? All right. Now, wait a minute, now, here. There we go. Now, oh, how's that? Say, that's fine. That's real fine. You know, you see that famous 19-inch direct view, life-tone, life-size picture tube? Boy, what beautiful, sharp pictures that one gives. You know, it's too bad we can't show that 10-inch permanent magnet speaker. The tone quality is magnificent for television, FM, and your phonograph plug-in for records. Okay, boss. Shall I take it? Yeah, you go ahead and take it. All right, oh, we... Wait a minute. Just a second. Isn't it a shame that we can't show how beautiful that Mount Vernon console would look in your living room? Oh, that's easy. Look, it I'll is. open it up a little bit more. Now, watch this. Now, here. Now, then, huh? take a look. See that? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Huh? Well, now, uh... Gee, can you imagine owning a Mount Vernon, a television set like that, for yourself? Yeah. Boy, that's real wonderful. Now, that's it. That's the picture. Okay, Hurry now. up and take it quick. All right, now. This is it. Well, friends, that's our story of the Dumont Mount Vernon. Right now, I'd like to tell you a story, a true story, about your Dumont dealer in your town. Why don't you visit him tomorrow and pick up a new Dumont 1950 football schedule? Now, it's a beautiful booklet that gives you all the latest rules and penalties of this year's football, all the schedules of the major colleges, and practically every college and university in the United States, all of the schedules, plus diagrams of the famous stadiums in our country, and all the penalties. Everything you need to know about football is in this little booklet. And all you need do is go into your Dumont dealer in your town and ask him for it, and he'll give it to you with his compliments absolutely free. Well, right now, our gang takes you to a day at the racetrack. Well, here we are, ready for the next race. 
And for a rundown of the horses, just look at your program. And if you think our horses aren't run down, just look at the horses. Attention, attention everyone. Number seven has been scratched. Well, every horse to his own pleasure. <coughs> your sheets. Here are the odds on the horses. Number one, three to one. Number two, two to one. 
Number four, 2,000 to one. I'm awfully sorry, there's a mistake. Number four is 3,000 to one. Now to give you a chance to see what you've bet on, the horses will parade past the grandstand. And here is number four, Leo. <laughs> the horses are lining up at the post. We're having trouble with number four. We can't find them. Number four, report to the post. And now the horses are all set. It's post time. They're up at the post. And it looks like they're just about ready. And number one steps out. And it looks like they're ready again. And number two steps out. And it looks like they're ready. And they're up. And there they go. Down the down the red and around they go. And there they are. Number four is in the head. Number four is in the lead. Number two and three follow. Number one is there. But number four is in the lead by 17 lanes. Now they come around the quarter turn. Around the quarter turn, it's number four. Number four, Leo ahead by 17 lanes. Number four, Leo ahead by 18 lanes. Now in the home stretch, number four, Leo ahead by 19 lanes. Leo ahead by 18 lanes. Number two and three coming up, but number four is leading. And here they are at the finish line. And the winner! Number two by 17 lanes. Attention, please. Here is a special announcement. Post time tomorrow for the first race will be at 1.20. Post time for the first race at 1.20. Post time for the first race at 1.20. 